What's going on? Welcome to Tuna's Weekly Indie Spotlight. Today we got a retro Japanese horror game called The Convenience Store. And yeah, this is pretty out there. So if you're looking for a more mainstream, larger sort of horror game, this probably isn't the alley you want to go. But if you're a big fan of horror and are just searching for like a good indie horror game to give you a good scare or something, maybe something a little different than The Convenience Store is definitely for you. And just a heads up, the game is pretty short. It should only take you about an hour and a half to finish, but hey, it's priced at $2.99. Totally worth it. Uh, let's get into it. Basically, you're a Japanese girl who lives alone in a one-bedroom apartment, and each night you go to work the night shift at the local convenience store at the end of the road. And the game takes place over the course of four nights, and each night gets steadily creepier than the last, as you might have guessed. And since it's so short, I'm just going to keep it at its general premise. I'm not going to spoil it any more than that. And what I liked about the convenience store and what made me choose it as the indie pick of the week is its unreliance on jump scares. And don't get me wrong, there are jump scares, like literally any horror game. But it's not where its horror comes from. It comes from the build-up and the, the atmosphere that the game cultivates as it drags on. And I think that's what separates any good or bad horror game. Just having an actual fearful atmosphere. It doesn't cram zombies, ghouls, and ghosts down your throat from the get-go. It's a much slower, more believable burn. You're put in the shoes of a real person living out their life. You're only met with the noises around you, the buzz of the air, the sound of your own footsteps, and the ding of the sliding glass doors at the convenience store. There's no background music or anything like that. Uh, you go around the convenience store doing just menial tasks like stocking shelves or helping customers that may come in. And then things start to occur in spots. And they, they're they like, Jesus, I need more sleep type of moments. They're not like insane, insane right away. And then as the nights progress, uh, I'm not going to say any more, but it really starts to go down. <laughs> Trust me, you will be invested. And for those who do not scare easily, like myself, be prepared to be too afraid to go get the light switch. And I think another thing that really helps a lot with the actual fear of the game, this is kind of preferential to what you like in a horror game, but it has a dark, grainy film, obviously, and the developers actually love this grainy film in all their games. It's, I think it's really cool. It makes me feel like I'm inside an actual old Japanese horror film. And it, <laughs> the premise just feels like it too. I like it a lot. And once again, gonna keep this short. Not that long. I can say though, I did have a gripe with it, and the gripe was more one section of the game rather than the mechanics of the game itself. And you'll probably know what I'm talking about when you get to it. But I think it's an incredibly original game that is totally worth playing, especially if you're a fan of Japanese horror and how it's more psychologically focused. And you can pick it up on Steam for just $2.99. It's a really good deal. And if you do actually end up liking it, the developers are called Chilla's Art. They have developed several short, cheap horror games just like this on Steam. And as someone who's played most of them, I would definitely start with this one. The convenience store came out just a couple months ago as of it is may 2020 right now and it's a much newer game from them and their older games are a little uh, I, I, they were they are a brand new company and they were literally their first game so those were more like the brain children that led to the convenience store but definitely check them out once again they're called chilla's art and yeah get ready to turn your lights off and punch into work If this recommendation interested you in any way, I'm a newer channel who would do one of these every week, plus a slew of other highlights and reviews and stuff like that. Liking and subscribing is the best way to help out, and hey, I'd love to know what you thought of the convenience store, if you actually played it or bought it, or just what you think of the premise down in the comments. Anyways, be safe, be kind, and I'll see you next time.